Welcome to V-Kids Time. I'm so excited you guys are here. You might realize where I am right now, but some of you might not because it's a little bit dark behind me. There's the ocean and the sand. That's right, I'm at the beach. After our lesson, you'll understand a little bit more about why I wanted to say hello to you from the beach. But we're so glad you're here today and we can't wait to learn with you.
thought in the Old Testament, Genesis. God created the world. So we make a circle. Exodus. God parted the Red Sea and walked through. Okay. Uh, Leviticus is the law, the laws uh, that God gave Moses, and Moses told the people. So it's, they needed to know the laws. Numbers, that's an easy one. One, two, three. Numbers. And then Deuteronomy is the second time the law was given. One, two. walked on the beach before, right up next to the ocean, waves going back and forth and back and forth. It's so beautiful. Well, at least that's what I've heard. I've only been to the ocean one time in my life, and let's just say it was not the best experience. You see, I went to the beach about six years ago for the very first time. I was so excited. I and the family I was with, we were so excited to eat our sandwiches we had gotten and have a picnic on the beach. Right as we sat down on the beach, on a beautiful sunny day, seagulls swooped down to eat our sandwiches and then all of a sudden, a mini hurricane came out of nowhere and a storm began to roll in on the beach. We all had to run for cover. Let's just say, it wasn't the best experience on the beach I've ever had. But I know about another person who had a much better experience on the beach with someone that I actually know. Our part of the Big God story for today is about a special conversation Jesus had with his disciple Peter on the beach. You see, Peter was a fisherman. One day, he and his friends had been fishing all night, but they never caught one fish. They were all pretty discouraged and decided to give up. But Jesus told them to try one more time. So they took their big fishing net and threw it over on the side of the boat. Do you know what happened? The Bible says that they caught so many fish that their net actually started to break. After that miraculous catch, Jesus invited Peter to follow him and to fish for people instead of fish. What do you think that he meant by that? Jesus wanted to use Peter to tell others about God's love and his gift of salvation. On the night before Jesus was crucified, Peter promised that he would never deny Jesus. You know, to deny someone means that you act like you don't know them. But later on, Peter denied that he knew Jesus three times. He felt pretty bad about that. I'm sure Peter felt like he wasn't good enough for God to use him. But do you know what? Jesus forgave him. Have you ever felt like you weren't good enough for God to use you to share his love? I know that when I was your age, I felt that way sometimes. But you know what? God loves us and wants us to know his love even when we make mistakes. Jesus redeems. That means that he forgives and he gives us a second chance, just like he did for Peter. You see, when you redeem something, it means that you get to have something that was paid for by someone else. Sort of like using a gift card. Jesus already paid for the price for you to be saved. When you accept God's redemption, it's accepting the free gift that was already paid for by Jesus on the cross. A couple of weeks after Jesus came back to life, Peter was fishing with some of the other disciples. They didn't catch any fish that night either. Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples didn't know that it was him. Jesus told them to throw the net on the right side of the boat, and I bet you can guess what happened. The net was so full of fish that they couldn't even lift the net into the boat. That's when they realized it was Jesus. Peter was so excited that he jumped into the water and swam to see Jesus. Do you know why he did that? He loved Jesus so much that he just couldn't wait to see him. Even though Peter lied, Jesus forgave him. He redeemed him by giving him another chance at a renewed relationship with him. Our Remember verse today says, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Galatians 2.20 you see, Jesus gave himself for you and me so that we can be a part of his family. 
Jesus gave himself for Peter too, and he knew Peter was so sorry for what he had done, and he had a plan to use him. For he even said to him, follow me. You and I can follow him too. You see, Jesus redeems. Jesus has redeemed my life, he redeemed Peter's life, and he can redeem yours too. Wow, I really love that story. I love that God redeems. I love that no matter what we're going through or what we do, God still has a plan and a purpose for our lives and he loves us so much. I love that. I love that first Jesus called Peter at the beach where they were fishing and then Peter makes a mistake and Jesus brings him right back to the place where he called him the first time just to remind him that he has a plan and a purpose for his life because Jesus redeems. What an awesome thought. Lord, today we just pray for every single person who just needs to remember that you love them. And Lord, we pray that you would just remind them that you love them and you have a plan and a purpose for their lives. In your name we pray, amen. I'm so glad you guys were with us today.
okay, boys and girls, we've made a decision about BGMC. If you raise more than $2,000 between now and May 9th, I will dye my hair a crazy color. If you raise more than $3,000 between now and May 9th, Mr. Orion and I will dye our hair crazy colors. You think you can do it? I guess we'll find out May 9th. Thank you.